Just look at how cool this packaging is. You would think that this is a technology product, not a foam dart blaster. This is the Dart Zone Max Solo. Let's talk about it. Now, it never really occurred to me, but Dart Zone doesn't have its equivalent of a jolt. Now, mind you, Dart Zone has some really great blasters, but none of them as iconic as the jolt. But I think we are going to see the Solo be the Dart Zone jolt just because of how cool this is. But now that I've unboxed the Solo here, it really goes to show that Dart Zone has made a great single fire compact blaster that offers some great performance and it's just fun to use. Let's talk about three of the things I love about this blaster. First is the fact that it has an amazing little gimmick that doesn't necessarily need to be there, but isn't overly complicated, and that is the flip-up barrel mechanism. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, I just kind of flicked it up like that, but just as easily as I did that, I can hit this button on the back here. It almost kind of looks like a hammer prime, but it's not looking into that. And you can see that the blaster folds up with just gravity. And as you see, like it does have a little retention there, but if I just force it, it doesn't give up too much of a fight there. So again, this is a very solidly built blaster that I'm not worried that it's going to break around this hinge. Now, the other thing I like about this blaster is that it is extremely comfortable. If you've ever seen a Nerf Jolt, you'll know that this part right here has the catch mechanism in there, and it just really isn't all that great to hold over an extended period of time. Now, this solves it because it's fully encased. There's just a trigger right here, and this part right here is all smooth. It's even textured a little bit just so that you have a better grip. It's those quality of life improvements that you would want from a professional pro level blaster. The last thing I absolutely love about the Solo here is the fact that it can use both half length darts or full length darts and you can kind of load them however which way you want. Now here's just a random Busby dart. I can plug it into the front of the barrel right here and try to seat it as far back as possible because you're going to really get the best performance if you do that. And I pull down on the priming bar at the bottom here and I'm just going to let this thing go here. And that's some great performance out of a full-length dart, an old-school Busby one, mind you. But if you remember from the box, I have these bamboo-style darts in here, and I'm going to load that into the Solo here, and I'm going to show you the optimal way of doing that. So here, I'm just going to take one of the darts. What I could do is I could just plug a half-length dart in the front of the barrel. That would be fine, I suppose. But if you really want to get the best performance out of this blaster, you're going to have to unlatch it here. Make sure you load it the right way. And you want to seat it so that this dart fits just right inside that barrel. So it just gives it a little push in there. And I'm going to now fire this blaster. It's going to be a considerable performance increase here. Yeah, that felt really good. That felt so much better than a full length dart. The performance in such a small, well-built, compact shell is an amazing feature to have for the Solo here. Now I'm going to go over just a couple things that I would have changed about the Solo just to make it a more refined blaster. Now these aren't by any stretch of the imagined deal breakers or things that make me think that this blaster isn't any good. In fact, I really, 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 really like this blaster. And if you have an opportunity to get one of these blasters, I highly recommend you do. But again, here's just a couple things I would have changed. The first thing that I would change is this priming handle right here. Now it's got a cool feature where it kind of flips down like that just to make it a little more compact. However, I don't really think that's needed. To me, it just gives you another point of failure here with this pin, and I don't know if this is going to last long term. I've only had this just for a little while, over hundreds of uses. Will this fail? It kind of is yet to be seen. And when that happens, you're going to have to 3D print something or find a way to prime this because without this piece right here, it'll be really difficult, nearly impossible to prime. The other thing that I would have liked to see changed about this blaster is that there are two buttons on this thing that kind of do relatively similar operations. One, you have this thing that kind of looks like a hammer prime that locks the barrel into place, but I have to push that button to lock it down. And to unlock the blaster, if I wanted to do that, I would have to press this tiny little circle button right here and then move the barrel up so that it gets locked. I know I've been calling this like a hammer prime a couple times, but it's kind of a hammer lock. We'll just call it a hammer lock from here on out. Now, I think I might understand why the decision was made to have those two buttons. You're going to get a better seal around the barrel if you have something latching on the top. This creates a better, more solid connection. And as we discussed earlier, this button isn't really necessarily needed to unlock the barrel. It's just a nice feature to have to make it a little more accessible. So my suggestion, if they ever decide to do another version of the Solo, would be just to delete this button right here and have this hammer lock intact. So where do you find a blaster like this and how much does it cost? Well, for starters, this is about $15. You can find it on walmart.com. You're not going to be able to find this in stores. This is an online only item. In terms of the cost of a blaster like this, 
Retail, they go for about $15. I found this on sale. Again, we're in kind of the holiday season here, so I got this on sale for $10. If you're like me and you don't have Walmart Plus, then you will have to pay a little bit of shipping if you don't fill up your cart to some certain dollar amount. Honestly, at this point, who knows how any of that works, but I just know that you can get your Dart Zone Solo, again, Walmart, about $15. You can probably find these on sale for $10. And $10 is a fantastic price point for the Solo because that puts it in line with any sort of jolt or any sort of micro shot that you can find on store shelves. Even though they look and function very similarly, I don't necessarily see the Solo competing directly with the jolt or any of the micro shots. Well, actually, especially the micro shots. Micro shots are designed to be collected. This is a blaster that I would consider something that you would bring in a competitive game. It's compact to fit in any sort of pouch or pocket that you can then activate and deploy very quickly and it has the performance to back it up. The last interesting thing I wanted to mention about this blaster that I haven't been able to confirm yet is that when I posted this on TikTok people were saying that you can already get barrel swaps for this which I was kind of wondering about because the way that this barrel hinges it seems like there is a one screw right here that you can remove this barrel and then if you are a 3D printer you can essentially attach anything you wanted. All said, the Dart Zone Solo is a very compelling blaster if you are into performance at all. You kind of owe it to yourself to get one of these as your backup last stand or whatever type of blaster you use as a last ditch effort. Now the review on this comes on the heels of the Omnia Pro, which I wasn't exactly thrilled about. The Solo, however, is a much different beast, one that I can wholeheartedly recommend because it is so much fun. All right, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Solo, be sure to leave them in the comment section. And until then, thanks for watching.